Good Shabbos, everybody. Um, I asked to do this talk months ago because this Shabbos is my Zayda's yard site. That's my mother's father. He died in 1964, uh, Yitzhak Yehuda ben David. Um, and I should have met him more times than I did, but that's the way life goes. And the reason why I always rem I keep his yard site as well is that years a number of years later, all my uncles, um, when they were sorting through various things, uh, decided to entrust with me his machzerim and his chumoshim. So I have all his books, and therefore I have a closer affinity to him than I think most of my most of my cousins. But anyway, so. It's his your site, uh, this, this, this Shabbos, and so this is really dedicated to his memory. A from man, as was his, uh, was my bubba. Um, and so if it wasn't for them, really I wouldn't be here. Um, so anyway, um, <clears throat> when we think of the patriarchs, um, we get tons of stuff on Avraham, and we get tons of stuff on, on Jacob, but Isaac is sort of wedged in between. Um, and it always seems to be sort of, I won't say the victim, but the the passive, the passive victim of what's going on. When it comes to the end of last week's Sedra with the Arcada, um, he is going to be offered for a sacrifice. He has no choice in the matter. He's just, you know, God will provide the 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 the, the sacrifice himself. But he's just the, the the passive one. So he doesn't do anything. He just is there and nearly get sacrificed. <clears throat> this week's Sedra starts with the words, Ela told on Yitzhak ben Avraham. Um, these are the generations of Isaac, the son of Abraham. And then the next phrase is, Avraham holid Yitzhak, Abraham fathered Isaac. It's to show that Abraham was the father. It wasn't some other uh, per passing by <laughs> stranger. But Isaac has very does very little compared to the other two patriarchs. But what is interesting in, in the narrative of this week's Sedra is that for the first time we hear Isaac is, is getting old and his eyesight has dimmed. It's the first time we hear of somebody actually not just getting old, but of, of being infirm in some way. There's nobody else. Every, everybody else is born, they live their lives and they die. But here we're told that Isaac actually his eyesight is, is almost blind. His eyesight is fading. Why, why is this happening? Why should it happen now? What? Rashi gives a number of opinions on it, but I'm not going to go into those. If you want to read them, they're in the Art Scroll Chumash. They're quite, they're, they're Rashi's opinions. If we go back to Avraham. There is a Medrash where Avraham is talking to God and he's having, a, he's complaining. He says that when I go anywhere with my son Isaac, nobody knows who to pay respects to because we're identical. Isaac looks exactly like me. We don't, and therefore they don't know whether to pay a, a respect to him or to me. And it's it's annoying at times. So God says, "Well, are you jealous?" And he says, "Well, not really jealous, but it would be nice if the the older person was the one who received the respect." So God says, "Okay." In that case, in future, you will get old and you will look it. Well, nothing much happens to Avraham, but Isaac gets old and his eyesight fails. And it's because of that he's getting old. It's all because his father was a bit bit uh, miffed at the fact that uh, they didn't know who to respect. The story goes on and we all, we all know that uh, what happens is that Jacob is able to fool Isaac into thinking that etc etc so the birthright goes to Jay goes to jacob rather than esau so in the future when you're complaining about your aches and pains and your bad back and your bad leg or a headache you know that it's not really anybody else's fault except avraham's because if he hadn't have made that complaint we would still be looking in prime condition as we were in our 20s as we are in our 70s shabbat shalom everybody <laughs> Sakaiach from a very old person. <laughs> Thank you very much, Lee. That was very thought-provoking. Um, 
And now it's my pleasure to invite Robert Black to lead us in Kabbalah Shabbat. Kabbalah Shabbat. 